Hey y'all, what's up? My Kingdom Power Pick Me Up family. It's your girl, Pastor Kiki, also known as Pastor Kishana Inman. And um, I am just jumping on today with a quick word of encouragement. Um, we are living in crazy times, perilous times, and we need to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, y'all. No matter what is going on, Keep your eyes on Jesus, because if you don't, you're going to lose hope. You're going to forfeit the assignment that God has charged you to. And God is counting on us to be his hands and feet in the earth. The Bible tells us simply, having done all what? To stand. So you got to stand in the good times and you got to stand in the bad times. So this is what I want to talk about today. One of my favorite uh, pioneers, I'll say, in the Bible is David, King David. He was a worshiper and a warrior. And David always found a place to praise God. He praised him in the valleys, in the hard places, and then he even praised God when it was good to praise God. And he gave God not a fictitious praise, but he gave God his best praise. So what about you and I? Can we praise God even though we're going through, even though things are not going the way that we thought they should, when we don't have money, when we don't have the job, when we didn't get the promotion, when we didn't get the house, when we didn't get the car, when things just seem like they're going backwards, especially after the word of the Lord has come to you and said, you know, this is what it's going to be. But we cannot get weary in well-doing. The Bible says in due season, you're going to reap. Just don't faint. Don't give up. Keep moving. Keep believing because God's ways is not our ways. His timing ain't our timing. The Bible says one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as one day with the Lord. So though it may take some time, wait on it. Don't move. Wait on it. Psalms 27 says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall do what? Strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So David, he continued to praise God, and that was his gift, his anointing. That's what brought him through. So the same way David praised God, the same way we have to praise God. The same way David sung from the depths of his soul unto the Lord is the same way we got to sing unto the Lord a new song in spite of what the enemy is doing because I believe God and everything that the enemy is trying to do, God will make it fail. It'll turn for your good, man and woman of God. So I just wrote down a few things, but I'm going to start with this. You should praise God because he made a way out of no way for you. You should find the place to praise God just because he woke you up this morning. You should find the place to praise God because you got eyes to see and ears to hear and the blood is still running warm through your veins. Come on here. You should find the place to praise God because he healed your body. He healed your children's body. You should find a place to praise God because he did bless you with a promotion. He did bless you with the, do the job when you did not have the job. He did open doors for you. He did divide the Red Sea with your little faith that you had at that time. God is the miracle working God. If God has done anything for you, this is why you got to praise him. I'm just reminding you, you have so much to thank God for. For he has blessed you and kept you and, and he kept you from the seen and unseen danger. We don't always see danger, but the angels do and God do and God will intercept that plan of the enemy. Hallelujah. So you got a place to praise God. You got to find the place in the midst of chaos, man and woman of God to praise God in spite of what it looked like. Just praise God. Just give him the glory. 
Just lift him up because he deserves the glory in spite of what it looked like and watch God move on your behalf because he inhabits the praises of his people. If God spared you from an accident, praise him. If God delivered you from abuse, praise him. If God delivered you from restrictions that the enemy was trying to hold you back in, you ought to praise him. When God opens the door, hallelujah, you ought to praise him. But even before he does anything, anything. Still praise him. Hallelujah. Whatever God has done for you, praise him. When you didn't have enough money, still praise him. You got to praise God. You got to trust God. You got to know in whom you had believed. You got to know that you know that God is God all by himself. All he need is our faith and he will work on our behalf. Amen. Faith without works is dead. So I'm just coming to encourage you. Whatever God has done for you, when your womb was barren and he release the baby and the seed. Hallelujah. You ought to praise God. God keeps his promises. God is a man of his word. God keeps his promises. God keeps his covenant. Hallelujah. He kept this covenant with Abraham and made him a father of many nations. He kept this covenant, hallelujah, with Isaac. And he kept his covenant with Jacob. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, it was a space of time in between all of the covenant promises of God. It was a space of time for the promised Messiah, Jesus, to come. But the prophets kept prophesying. The prophets kept speaking the word of God. Amen. So I don't care what you're going through today. Trust God. Believe God. Stand on the promises of God. Stand on the word of God. Know in whom you have believed and let the devil know that God is still able. And I'm going to bless the Lord with all my heart, all my soul, all my strength. I'm going to give God all of his praise that is due from my being because I know that God is able. He can do anything but fail. He can do the impossible. He can make ways out of no way. All you need to do is bless him and trust him. All you got to do is praise him and give him glory. And I need you to continue to be steadfast in praise, steadfast and unmovable in praise. Don't let your praise go down, but keep praising God. Keep blessing him. Keep giving him glory because he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Whatever his word said is not going is not going to return unto him void, but it is going to accomplish the thing that it was sent to accomplish. I need you to believe that. I need you to believe that. I need you to believe that. I need you to speak out your mouth right now. I choose to believe God. It's a decision. Yes, it is. We got a decision to make today. Um, when you hear the word of the Lord, you got a decision to make whether you want to receive it or reject it. But I encourage you today, man and woman of God, just say, I believe God. I make a decision to believe God. I choose to believe God. I choose to believe God. He ain't never let me down. He ain't never let me fall. He ain't never failed me. I choose to believe God. And that is it. Believe God. Believe God. Go to work at the word. Go to work. Use the word of God in your life for every situation because I promise you, God is coming through for you. Amen. Be blessed, my sister and my brother. Thank you for watching again. You are on live with Apostle Kishana Inman. Um, and I'm just encouraging you, continue to praise God. If you like the video, go ahead and like it and share it and comment, hallelujah, and let me know that this was an on-time word just for you. Be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.